So in LUT, we are specialized to computational dynamics. And what we're doing in the field of computational dynamics is that we are trying to understand the dynamic performance of different kind of mechanical and biomechanical systems. And uh, what we do there in practice is that we are creating the equation of motion, and then we solve the equation of, some motion, equation of motion in order to figure out how is the characteristic, dynamic characteristics of different dynamic systems. So the computational dynamics and multi-body system dynamics that we particularly use here in LUT are very much in focus of research activities. But because we want to relate our teaching to our research, we also teach in multi-body system dynamics and computational dynamics. So uh, basically in our courses, uh, our students will learn how to build the different kind of real-time simulation models and multi-body models in general. And those they can then use whatever they go to industry or whatever they go to academia to understand the dynamics better than using conventional methods. So here what we have is two units and these two units are uh, actually real-time simulation units. So what we have here is two different models. So one model is an accelerator model, and the purpose of that is, uh, you know, the, what's the purpose of the accelerator is to move dirt from one place to another. And then another model here is a, a truck model, and the purpose of that particular model is to move dirt from one place to another. And these two machines are cooperating with each other, and as you can see from uh, the background here, they both work in the same uh, virtual environment. So that's why it is possible to actually see how these two machines are cooperating. And basically we can learn how is the data between the machines, how that can be transferred. The reason why we have this setup here is actually, there is, there is two different reasons. Well, first of all, we wanted to kind of demonstrate to uh, students and other faculty members of LUT how is our research and what exactly we're we doing in our, our multi-body research and computational dynamic research. But on the other hand, what we also do here is that we are using this setup in the research purposes as well. And one of the things we do here is that we wanted to figure out whether or not this real-time simulation could be used as a part of the product development. And how that is possible then? That's possible because these models are physics-based models. And these physics-based models is a fairly accurate representation of reality. And we can actually modify the, the features of these machines, parameters within these machines, and to see what kind of setup or what kind of combination of parameters is the one that the customers are most happy with. If you want to redo this same thing by using a real machine, that would require a number of physical prototypes. And you know, problems related to physical prototypes is of course that it's taking a lot of time to build these, mo these real prototypes and also it takes a lot of energy and effort to make it happen. So in that sense this uh, follows with the green values because uh, no physical prototype needs to be built.